Hey everyone, so today's video, um, I was actually supposed to film this a while ago. I think I promised you guys this video um, back in the beginning of the year when I did my Gerard Cosmetics review um, back forever ago, but I got such great um, feedback, you know, positive and negative on that video that I decided that I wanted to do my Lime Crime one finally. I don't know why it took me so long to do this video because I'm very familiar with their products. I've been using Lime Crime for a while, so um, I definitely have my own opinions on their company and this brand, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I placed my first Lime Crime order probably two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I bought a couple lipsticks. And I really, really loved the lipsticks. The formula, everything about the lipsticks I loved. The packaging, um, yeah, the packaging is beautiful. Like, this is one of their lipsticks. I'm going to get into detail on that um, a little bit later on. But, um, you know, this is like a love or hate thing. If you really don't like unicorns or you don't like the color purple, you might not like this. I just love this color. My walls used to be this color. If you look on, um, you know, my videos from, like, back in the day, um, my walls were this color. So I do really... I'm kind of biased on the packaging. So, um, but yeah, I was just really impressed with the quality of the lipsticks, the packaging, the way that um, it came shipped to me. It was just so well packaged. Like, it came in a box with a bunch of tissue paper. It just looked like the presentation was perfect. It looked like, um, you know, it was a gift to myself kind of thing. So, I was really impressed with that. NailPolishCanada.com started carrying this brand. It no longer carries this brand, unfortunately. But, um, they started carrying them and I ended up picking up a lot of the products that I have, um, when it was up on that website because the shipping was literally, like, actually the shipping was two days from Vancouver. So, Crime was available on a, the Sephora website for a while too, just like a couple days, I want to say. And they stopped carrying them as well. Apparently there was some kind of, you know, company controversy or whatever. Um, if you google like Lime Crime controversy, there's a lot that comes up on it. I'm not going to really get into detail about it. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there was a credit card breach earlier on this year um, where she, the owner of Lime Crime, Dodir, she never really owned up to it until like a few months later and then she announced that there was a breach of like you know, credit card information getting stolen, they got hacked or whatever, and now their website is more secure, but, um, I did order from them during that time, so I was kind of scared that something would happen, but, um, thankfully, knock on wood, nothing did happen, um, I just changed my PayPal password and whatever. So, um, yeah, there's a lot more controversy based on, you know, the owner of Lime Crime and stuff like that, but, you know, I don't really want to really want to focus on that because I want to focus on the good of this company and, um, that's their products. Their products out, outshine the controversy, in my opinion. But if you guys, like I said, if you want to, you know, find out about it, just go ahead and Google it. There's a lot that comes up. I'm not really going to get into detail, but yeah. I'm going to talk about my two favorite products from this company. First is the Unicorn Lipstick, and secondly is the um, Velveteens. Um, while they're just still in my hand randomly, I'm going to talk about the Velveteens first. So this, these are the colors. So these are some of the colors they have. I do own a bunch more of these um, in different shades. I have a nude one. I have a coral one. I Yeah, I have a few of these, but um, I'm going to show you my favorites, I guess. Okay, so now a lot of companies have these products. Um, you know, the liquid matte lipsticks and stuff. A lot, a lot of companies carry them nowadays. However, um, Lime Crime is the first one that I tried and the first one that I kind of like, I was like, oh, that's such a, you know, unique type of product. Because back then when these were released, these were probably, like, one of the only ones that were on the market. So, um, I just really love them. My first one that I ever purchased was uh, Pink Velvet. And then I have Pansy. I have Riot, which is probably my fave because it's just, I don't know, just that mauve um, masala color that they released for 2015 because it's the color of the year. And um, Utopia is another one of my faves. So basically, like I said, a lot of companies have these now. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. It has like roses. It looks very like Valentine's Day like and it has a unicorn on the top. And yeah, so they all actually have a different smell, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, so it's completely liquid. If you tip these over, they will leak. But yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch these because 
legit they stain like crazy they last forever on the lips and they basically dry to a nice matte finish um they so they start off as liquid they dry into a matte finish i put a gloss over it usually but they are like non-drying so these are like non-drying at all whatsoever which is really hard for me to find um, something that's long wearing and that actually doesn't dry out my lips so I was super super impressed with these when I first tried them and I still am super impressed with them I haven't really ventured out and tried any of the other brands like Jeffree Star and um, Anastasia Beverly Hills but um, a lot of companies have these now but um, I do really really like the Lime Crime Velveteens they're definitely a standout of the company if you're looking into trying out some Lime Crime products and you really like these kind of liquid matte lipsticks then I definitely definitely suggest checking out the Velveteens. Um, and the next thing that I'm going to show you, I am not going to get into like the eyeshadows and stuff because I do have them, but um, I don't know if they were discontinued, but the last time I was on the Lime Crime website, I did not see them. So I'm just going to basically show you the uh, other standout of the company, their unicorn lipsticks. So when I first heard about Lime Crime and stuff, I wanted to purchase just because of these. They have the most unique, interesting colors. They have wearable colors. They have everything in between. If you're into lipsticks, you're going to find something that's your color for sure because they have a ton. Even if you're like into blue lipstick, they have blue lipstick. If you're into black lipstick, they have that. So um, yeah, packaging, I love, love, love. Like I said, some of you might not like it because it's kind of out there very like whimsical and like just pretty. These lipsticks I adore, adore the packaging. I think that it's just really, really pretty but like I said not for everyone but you know what? Don't judge a book by its cover. The lipstick inside just as amazing as the outside according to in my opinion. So the first one I have here is Centrifugia. This, these are not all my Lime Crime lipsticks but I just wanted to show you, you know, just a few of them. Most of them like this one are like a cream like a cream finish. They have a lot of these like cream finish ones. They remind me of like Max Amplified Cream. Um, there's Poison Berry which is a fall favorite. It looks scarier in the tube but it's not as scary on the lips I promise. Um, this one is like a... Uh, it has a little bit of like sparkle to it which is cool. Um, I have Airborne Unicorn which is a purple cream finish. Um, I have Chinchilla, which is a really unique gray purple. I have never found anything quite like this in lipstick form. I've seen it in liquid lipstick form by um, Jeffree Star, but never really in lipstick form. And I really, really like this color. I don't wear it often. I've only worn it a few times, but it's really cool. Um, and I have Babette, which is this really nice wearable nude. It's one of my favorite nudes because it doesn't wash me out. And it doesn't look um, completely like, I don't know, it doesn't blend blend into my skin, it doesn't look, look really weird on me, so I really love this color. So yeah, um, those are a few of my Lime Crime lipsticks. Um, I'm very, very impressed um, with, you know, as far as packaging goes, I love it. The quality of the products are amazing. The price point is pretty similar to MAC or something that you'd find at like Sephora or something. They're pretty inexpensive. I want to say these are even cheaper than MAC. MAC here in Canada are $20. These, I believe, are like $16 to $18. I really can't. I can't remember, but yeah, between 16 and 18. The Canadian currency right now really sucks, so I'm sure these are probably over $20 now for us, but um, yeah, that's that. Um, I just really love this company, and this is not a sponsored review whatsoever, but the products are really good quality. The packaging I really like, and um, just as far as the shipping goes, I really think that that's something that they could improve on, especially um, between Canada and the States because we're, like I said, we're fairly close together. We're obviously we're close together. We're attached. Like we're still in North America, right? But the shipping just takes forever, and that's kind of what annoys me. But yeah, as far as as far as the products go and stuff, I'm super impressed with them. I really, really recommend them. So um, that's it for my Lime Crime review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.